Hello, this is Michael. I am co-owner of a pontoon rental company. In January of 2020, we purchased two brand new boats from Marine Max in Fort Walton. We had a great experience with the salesman. He went above and beyond the call of duty to serve our needs and make sure we got us the boat that we wanted. These boats were supposed to arrive in late February, early March. In a, around March 1st, March 2nd, we were told they weren't really sure where the boats were. They basically communicated to us that they quote unquote lost the boats. Now I've been in manufacturing most of my life and I can tell you where a plastic part is from the time it's in a computer to the time it's in a press or a box or a warehouse or on a truck heading somewhere else. So I question what exactly was happening. Well, two to three weeks later, we were told that they didn't lose the uh, boats. They actually lost the order and the boat, the order was not placed. As a result, they kindly gave us two loaner boats. The problem was these loaner boats were not the same quality, same year or same size as the boats we had been advertising all year. As a result, we had numerous problems with customers not being happy uh, with the boats that we promoted uh, during the few months that we had those boats. Well, we were told that they would, they would put the new order in, that either Harris lost the order originally or Marine Max, but we were told Harris did, and that the boats would arrive as soon as they possibly could make them. Well, the boats arrived on uh, July 2nd, again of 2021. When the boats arrived, I noticed something very unusual. When the boat pulled up, it looked a little smaller than what we had ordered. Now, we had these boats delivered by water for multiple reasons. It was 4th of July weekend, and it was going to be much quicker to deliver boats by water than it would be to go uh, pick them up in Fort Walton as a result. And we also thought it would be a good opportunity to break them in during that ride there. So the manager brought the boats. When the boats arrived again, I realized there was something dreadfully wrong with these boats. Uh, I got on the boats. The first thing I noticed was the layout was different. Although we liked the layout uh, of the new boats, it was not what we ordered. We ordered a more open format because we needed a um, 12 passenger. I noticed on the sticker, the sticker said it was 11 passenger boat. The more I looked at it, I realized the front of the boat did not have the deck that we custom ordered. I also noticed that the boat was a, instead of a tri-tune, uh, it was a sport tune. So we ordered the Harris model 250, 25 foot uh, tri-tune with 150 horsepower motor. This was a 23 foot sport tune, uh, did have the 150 horsepower motor. The problem was we are in the rental business and 12 is our maximum and we desperately needed a 12 passenger boat. So we contacted them immediately and we said, hey, wh what are we gonna do? Because we cannot keep these boats. The manager said he was going to get in touch with Marine Ma or with Harris Corporate and see what they could do. We were told that evening, or maybe it was the next morning, that we were to hold the boats as loaner boats until the new boats arrived, that they were going to put uh, another order in, and these were going to be, again, loaner boats. Um, this was the July 2nd uh, weekend, and it was 4th of July, so they were closed on the Friday, but we were able to get in touch with one representative that did tell us to keep the boats until the new boats were produced. On Monday of that same week, we got had email confirmation of this. Uh, they told us that they were going to put the new order in. Matter of fact, a lady, I believe her name was Sydney, told us that we could possibly get boats within a week, maybe two. Uh, so we were excited that it wasn't gonna be long and that we weren't gonna have these boats for a very long period of time. Well, for the next month, we had multiple series of communication, probably 10, well, between the first couple weeks, it was 10 to 15 emails, text, uh, maybe 10 or more phone calls, uh, trying to verify the time, what we're, how we're supposed to handle the boats we currently have. Um, we needed to keep them rented, which we were told we could. Well, in time, a month passes and we still don't have our boats. At the end of that month, we were told by a uh, district supervisor, I don't remember exactly what his title was. He said, "There's, I don't know why Sydney promised you a boat in a week or two. The most, the fastest we could do is about six weeks. 
Well, this continued to go on week after week. We were told we were gonna get our boats through text communication and email communication and phone calls. And this went on for several months uh, and I saw absolutely no progress. And I told them by this time, this was October. I said, if we don't have our boats or some type of resolution by October, I gave them a deadline that we were gonna have to hire an attorney. And the reason why is the boats we purchased were about four to $7,000 difference uh, than the boats we received. So basically we got shorted about $7,000. Matter of fact, we purchased trailers for 25 foot boats and now we have these 23 foot boats on 25 foot trailers. It makes it very awkward. It's a little harder to get the boats on and off um, the trailers. Well, Harris and Marine Max did not meet that deadline. As a result, we hired an attorney. Um, our attorney put all the paperwork together and sent information to their attorney. Several weeks or maybe a month or so passed and the attorney wrote back and said that the manager for Marine Max said that we were thrilled uh, with the boats when they were arrived and we were super happy. Basically, he lied. Now I will say this, we did say the boats looked nice. Uh, the boats were good looking boats, but I very clearly communicated that we were not happy with the boats. Uh, not only did I clearly communicate that, there was at least 30 to 40 pieces of contact between emails, phone calls, texts, confirming that these boats were on order and we would be able to use these boats as loaner boats. So they basically said, sorry, we're not gonna help you after three to four months of constant communication saying that we are gonna get our boats. So what we had to do is we had to promote with our clients that these boats were on the way over and over again. And we said, sorry, another delay, another delay. We lost several, actually, I can't calculate how many thousands of dollars we lost on promotions. Uh, we had hired um, a pretty famous musician uh, that was gonna do a promotion for us. And because we didn't get the boats in correctly, they were not happy with the boats that we put them on. Uh, so they did not do the promotion. We lost thousands of dollars through that, thousands of dollars through Facebook advertising, uh, uh, other forms of social media advertising, um, printed information. Um, we, it's now April, almost May of 2021. Uh, the, we still do not have a resolution to the matter. About a month and a half to two months ago, we got received a call from, from a legal person at Harris trying to settle with us. And the settlement that they were going to offer us was buying our boats back at wholesale price, which I could have sold them at full retail because the demand for boats is that high. So we, I said, I'm sorry, man, that's not even, I mean, I could have sold it to my neighbor for that much and he could have profited on it. So we did not agree uh, to that. When that happened, she said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. From here on out, those boats are no longer under warranty. So not only did they not give us the boats that we ordered, they canceled the warranty on us. So now we're still in a legal situation, but here's my suggestion. We've purchased a total of four boats from Brunswick Corporation. I can honestly say I'm 47 years old and have been in the business world uh, all my life and I've never ever dealt with such crooked um, activity the two boats that we uh, purchased from a previous manufacturer a different manufacturer but under the Brunswick Corporation was um, was horrible um, I had to do a similar video like this um, the boats themselves these boats are mediocre quality Harris is not my favorite quality of all the boats that we've had uh, we have pretty, we had pretty significant issues with the loaner boats. Uh, we spent a fortune on those fixing them because they were horrible quality. The boats we have now are a little bit better quality. We have had some um, radio issues with moisture getting in the radios. We've had some tune issues with tunes cracking at the seams. My challenge for you is to do your homework. Uh, do not trust. I, I am shocked that a corporation can send 30 to 40 pieces of communication or more in a period of three to four months confirming the boats are on their way and then later fall back and say, sorry, we're not gonna uh, back this up. My challenge is for you to do your homework in particular, even if you buy a boat and you're thrilled with the way the boat looks, make sure you get 
as detailed information as possible on warranty issues. They do not stand behind their warranties. So thanks so much for watching. I challenge you to not buy from Harris Corporation uh, or anybody under the Brunswick name, uh, as well as Marine Max. Honestly, most of the problems we're having at this point are Marine Max lying about uh, telling us that we are telling their attorney that we were thrilled with the boats. Again, the only thing that we complimented, the boats did look nice and we did like the layout. Um, it was a neat layout, but that was the only compliment I gave. Matter of fact, I had three to four witnesses at the dock when that boat was delivered, hearing our communication, hearing how completely not satisfied we were. Uh, so please, please be aware. Do not buy from Harris uh, as a, or a Harris manufacturer or Marine Max or really anyone under the Brunswick name for that matter. Thanks so much for watching.